Spectrum Effect welcomes you to a demonstration of the industry's very first integration of a portable interference hunting system with a Spectrum Analytics solution. This integration redefines how mobile operators address anomalous RF interference by combining the power of AI analytics with in-field insights, all in the palm of your hand. The value of RF Spectrum licenses held by mobile operators globally is over 1 trillion US dollars. Anomalous RF interference sources are devaluing this crucial asset, degrading network KPIs, reducing network capacity, diminishing subscriber quality of experience, and elevating operational costs. Through our work with many of the largest and most impressive operators around the world, we have found that these operators are addressing only a small fraction of their interference issues and doing so in a costly and inefficient manner. Operators react when severe degradations to KPIs occur, perform ad hoc manually intensive investigations, hypothesize about possible interference causing the degradations, and perform time-consuming drive tests and field activities with a high degree of uncertainty. Let's start by first reviewing the sources of this RF interference that are degrading mobile networks. These sources include interference from within the RAN itself, which can be addressed via network optimizations, interference from passive intermodulation sources, which can be addressed by fixing cable connector or reflector problems at a site, RF signals carried over long distances during periods of tropospheric ducting related to weather conditions, can cause significant degradations and can be resolved by dynamic detection of victim and aggressor cells and adjusting configuration parameters. And finally, external sources outside the mobile network that generate interference on the operator's licensed spectrum. Some of the most common sources of external RF interference include cable TV egress, broadcast TV, bi-directional amplifiers, RF jammers, legacy equipment such as WiMAX, and gray market devices such as decked equipment. As a leading mobile operator, shouldn't you be able to automatically know what is causing this interference within your network, exactly where it is coming from and when it is occurring? Shouldn't you be able to automatically understand the cost of each interference event and how to prioritize numerous events based on KPI impact? Shouldn't you be able to connect this new intelligence with your in-field equipment to ensure your field teams are working the right cases with up-to-the-minute information in a surgical manner? With Spectrum Effects Spectrum Net Solution and PCTEL's C-Wave Interference Locating System, the answers to these questions are yes. The solution can be quickly turned up using existing data within your network in a highly affordable manner, and today you will see how. Spectrum Effect has pioneered a completely new and novel approach for mobile operators to mitigate harmful anomalous interference through innovative machine learning based analytics of mobile network data. Protected by 20 patents, SpectrumNet performs seven stages of advanced analysis. SpectrumNet operates seamlessly across multi vendor UMTS, LTE, and 5G NR networks on a continual basis without any need for external probes. Next, we'll dive into the integration of SpectrumNet with PCTEL's C-Wave and show how this improves hunting of external RF interference sources. This is the SpectrumNet landing page, which provides a dashboard view of the anomalous interference events that are affecting a mobile network. Here we are selecting the time period to view active interference events. In this case, we will view the past seven days. This shows the percentage of anomalous interference events for each of the operator's LTE frequencies. For this network, the LTE 709 MHz uplink channel has the highest levels of anomalous interference, contributing to almost half of the anomalous interference for the LTE network. This shows the distribution of interference sources. 43% of the anomalous interference is from external sources. This shows a map of sites and cells within the network. Cells experiencing anomalous interference are highlighted in red. Here we list all external, PIM, ducting, and RAN interference events. We are able to sort and filter these events by different criteria, including severity, technology, number of cells, source, etc. 
the events are presently sorted by the number of impacted cells. Let's now select this external interference event and drill down into the details. We are now showing the vital information for this interference event. This external interference event is impacting 19 cells at 14 sites. As shown in this PRB chart, the center frequency of this interference is at 707 MHz. All of the affected sites are listed. Here we can see a map of the impacted cells and the location of the external interference source calculated using SpectrumNet's Weighted Bayesian Inference Locating Algorithm. Here is the location calculated by SpectrumNet for this event. Here we turn on the display of the interference power levels for each of the cells. The PRB chart shows the frequency characteristics of this external interference. The same signature is present for each of the impacted cells. Based on this signature, SpectrumNet has classified the interference as coming from a bidirectional amplifier, or BDA. Performance KPIs for each of the impacted cells are also provided for this event. The per ROP activity percentage has been calculated to be close to 100% for this event. Let's now export the information on this interference event to the C-Wave Interference Locating System. This will make it fast and easy for the field technicians to perform the final step of interference hunting. The PCTEL C-Wave system is one of the most powerful in-field interference hunting solutions in the world today. The PCTEL scanning receiver radio unit and battery pack are conveniently carried within a backpack. The integrated directional antenna and Android-based tablet provide an ergonomically friendly handheld solution for performing interference measurements. The industry-leading C-Wave software is able to distinguish between traffic from within the mobile network and interference outside the network. C-Wave provides high measurement sensitivity and accuracy, making it easy to track interference in the field. Now let's see what happens when the Spectrum Net interference case is pushed to C-Wave. This is a view from the C-Wave app running on the Android tablet. The interference event has been pushed from Spectrum Net to C-Wave and we have selected the event. C-Wave is now automatically configured with the attributes of the interference event from Spectrum Net. This includes the location of the center frequency of the interference and markers as shown in the C-Wave app. SpectrumNet has pushed to C-Wave the location of the interference event so we know exactly where to start the infield hunting. SpectrumNet has also pushed valuable information about when the event occurs and whether the event is active. The interference event is active right now, so let's visit the location of the interference source. We are now searching the designated area with C-Wave looking for the interference attributes pushed by SpectrumNet. It looks like we have a hit. Wow, that was fast. Let's see what the C-Wave system is capturing. The external interference is coming in at exactly the 707 MHz center frequency as captured by SpectrumNet. The interference is occurring on a continual basis as SpectrumNet had measured. The interference source is strongest where she is pointing the antenna. The source is a bidirectional amplifier, or BDA, matching SpectrumNet's classification of the event. Welcome to the new age of interference hunting. Information from our field trip will now be transferred back to SpectrumNet to be archived within the interference event. Key data from our visit includes the infield measurements from C-Wave, GPS coordinates of the house with the BDA, pictures, and notes from the visit. With these annotations now stored within SpectrumNet, there is now a single place to view the entire history of this interference event while still being able to view the current state. Within a future version of SpectrumNet, a portal will be available for regulators to view interference events assigned to them by operators. Regulators will then have a complete and up-to-date view of interference events. Thank you for joining this first ever demo of the integration of SpectrumNet with the PCTEL C-Wave Interference Locating System. Contact us to learn how SpectrumNet can deliver a 1000 to 2000% ROI for your mobile network.